my channel Junior Doctors where concepts made crystal clear. Here in this video we are going to focus what are the changes occurring in ventilation and perfusion when the respiratory membrane is thicker and when the surface area inside the alveoli increases or decreases what will be the changes in the ventilation and perfusion. Before going to that I hope you have watched our video on ventilation and perfusion. If not then go and first watch that because this concept is built on that video. So as you all know that respiratory membrane is formed by alveolar cells, interstitial space and the capillary membrane. Now what happens if this becomes thick? Right, this membrane becomes thick. So inside the blood the concentration that is partial pressure of oxygen decreases and the partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases right so when this happens let's focus on that uh, primarily there are two sets of uh, diseases wherein this condition occurs the first one is left side heart failure now what happens in that the blood inside the left atrium moves to the left ventricle but this left ventricle is unable to pump so what happens blood inside the left ventricle starts accumulating this will create a back pressure and from here the blood starts spreading inside the left atrium also which will create a back pressure on the capillaries what happens here due to the excessive blood the fluid inside will ooze out and this will make our respiratory membrane thick so the exchange of gases becomes difficult second condition wherein this occurs is pneumonia and as we all know that pneumonia is occurred by various bacteria right so what happens when the pneumococcal bacteria enters the body as an immune mechanism or defense mechanism inflammation starts and due to inflammation the respiratory membrane becomes thick and the exchange of gases becomes difficult so as the membrane is thick the exchange will be less when the membrane is thicker let's take an another condition wherein membrane is thin so the exchange of gases will be very easy right so we can say that it will be an inversely proportional right thickness is inversely proportional to the flow of gas right if the thickness is more the flow will be less and if, if the thickness is less the flow will be more right now let's check another condition wherein surface area decreases. So here is our third condition wherein surface area decreases. How? You can see here that alveoli is highly accommodated by elastic fibers and these elastic fibers will be arranged in such a manner that it gives more surface area for gaseous exchange. What happens here? an enzyme known as elastase will come in here and it will start destroying these fibers. Right. What happens here? That is the surface area decreases. How it happens? Let's focus on that also. The elastase will be secreted by neutrophils and neutrophils will be activated when there is a chronic condition of smoking or carcinoma or genetic predisposition. So neutrophil gets activated, it will release elastase and elastase will start destroying these elastin fibers. Now what is the mechanism wherein this elastin fibers remains as it is? It occurs due to an important thing that is alpha 1 antitrypsin 
and this is secreted by alveoli itself so it will not allow the elastase to degrade the elastin material but due to chronic smoking and carcinoma and genetic predispositions the elastin fibers will be destroyed and this is a very important and well known condition which is known as emphysema the elastin fibers gets degenerated during a disease known as emphysema so here the surface area decreases so that the gaseous exchange also decreases so we can see it here as surface area is directly proportional to the gaseous exchange if the surface area increases gaseous exchange also increases if surface area decreases gaseous exchange also decreases and similarly our fourth condition shows that only that is in here there is highly convoluted elastin fiber so the surface area is more here right so the exchange of gases will be easier here so that surface area is more the gaseous exchange is also more hope you got the idea of ventilation perfusion and the gaseous exchange and effects of thickness as well as surface area on gaseous exchange in our next video series we are going to study how the gaseous exchange occurs that we uh, know as internal gaseous exchange so stay tuned and enjoy learning